And to even increase that effect, I'm going to make this sharper like the knife edge and recompute. So now I have the knife edge, but I also have the rounding on the inside. Going to hide that entire sketch and just show the first curve I drew. Going to hide that mirror. Hide, hide. Okay. Now, so I only need to show my curve one and my ring size. And here's the neat little trick that I do all the time. I'm going to offset it to the inside by one millimeter and validate. Do the same to the ring, to the outside, one millimeter. And I can hide those two curves now. And you, I'm going to put my grid snaps on, add some cut curves. Cut curve goes like that, and let's say like that. Validate. Going to move this one up to where they intersect like so. And now I'm going to trim those. Oh, control, control Z. I have a problem. This curve is not planar. So it will not trim by that curve. So I'm going to do a deep alignment. Click on the point. The point is at zero. That's my reference point. Use deep alignment. You see the reference point is that point. Now click on the curve, and it makes that curve planar when I validate. Perfect. So now when I use my trim, it trims exactly where I want it to. Oh. Here we go. And... Turn that off there. The rest I can just delete and delete and delete. Now I'm going to add a fillet to there, like so. Add that. Auto connect. I'm going to show my half shank. Perfect. And I'm going to put one more cut curve in using this tool with three points, symmetrical vertical, three points, boom. Now I'm going to double click on the second and third point to make them sharp. Show my stone. Just like that. And now. I can crop and punch here, validate, crop and punch here, validate. I can hide my sketch completely. I'll add uh, a fillet like that and like that. I'm So I add the fillet, and now I will remove this face instead of booleaning. I'm going to weld, so I have to remove that face and mirror across the plane. Weld those together. And perfect. I've made a lovely, lovely shank very quickly using a three rail sweep. So just real quick, I'm going to go back in my tree all the way back below the crop and punches, below the cut and delete to the sweep, and we'll just take a look. We have path curves. One, two, three. Three rail cross sections are defined by the paths in all directions. Two rail, cross sections are defined by the paths in one direction. Single rail, cross sections are defined by the dimensions drawn in the sketch.
path auto orientation rebuilds the curves to match within the sweeping function. Next tab, sections, cross sections, as many as you want. Second, second tab down or second selection down, positioning. And hinting of sections will rebuild the sections within the function. And finally, section orientation. Effect is the rotation, vertical alignment, and horizontal alignment tell the cross sections how to line up with the path. That's it. One, two, three, sweep. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Get up on the forum. Uh, post your questions. Let's get some activity going up there. Uh, if, if there's anything I missed, any things that you do differently, please let us know. We want to hear from you. Again, I'm Joshua St. John, 3DesignNYC, and until next time, make some beautiful stuff.